If you want to learn SEO for free, I'm going to break it all down nice and simple for you in this video so you can start growing your business without spending a dollar. And a click on that like button as a tip wouldn't hurt though. Let's start with step one. Understand the goal of SEO. Search engine optimization is all about optimizing pages on your website to appear at the top of search engine results. You do this by ranking for keywords related to your business. For example, if you sell gardening equipment, you want your business to appear at the top of search engine results pages, otherwise known as SERPs, when people search for keywords related to your niche. If someone searches best lawnmower under $500 and sees an article from your website called five best lawnmowers under $500, they're pretty likely to click. But if your article was titled top five greatest lawnmowers, your page likely wouldn't appear in your search and that person wouldn't see you. Without knowing the principles of SEO, your options for growing your business are pretty slim. So the main goal of all SEO is to earn more leads, sales, and revenue. Now, step number two is keyword research. Keywords are the words and phrases that people type in search engines to find what they're looking for. Keyword research is a big part of learning SEO, so it's important you get familiar with it. Finding the right keywords can make or break your business. And there are two types of keywords, long tail and short tail. Long tail keywords are keyword phrases that are three or more words long. These get less search traffic, but they usually have a higher conversion rate because they're more specific. An example would be best protein powder for muscle gain. Short tail keywords are about one to three words long and way broader. These have higher search volumes than long tail keywords, which means that they attract more website visitors, but the downside is that they're much more competitive and harder to rank for in search. An example of a short tail keyword would be best protein powder, which is way broader, but gets a lot more traffic. To know the best keyword searches in your industry, there are a ton of amazing tools out there for beginners. Check out Moz Keyword Explorer, SEMrush's free plan, or the Keyword Surfer Chrome extension. Getting to know which keywords you want to focus on is important because weaving them into your content, titles, meta descriptions, and URLs will help your rankings. Step number three, know the difference between on-page and off-page SEO. SEO isn't just about what's on the page. What's just as important is what happens happens off it. Here's the difference. On-page SEO is more directly in your control. It involves formatting like H1 tags and H2 tags, keyword page navigation, URLs, meta descriptions, and image descriptions, and alt text. Off-page SEO is more to do with others' opinions of your content. Links to your site, mentions about your brand, and social media all have a big part to play. For a solid SEO strategy, it's important that you cover both of these, and I'll talk about them in more depth in the future so you know exactly what to do. Step number four is know your UX. User experience signals. Search engines want to give people what they're looking for. This is why. User experience, otherwise known as UX, plays such a big part in SEO. If your site's user experience is poor, search engines know and punish your pages for it. Now, algorithms like Google Rank Brain analyze the behavior of the users on your website and measure the level of satisfaction. And like Sky net, these algorithms get smarter and smarter. Hopefully, Google won't create an army of killbots so. Although, they are thinking of using killer police robots in San Francisco now. I'm just giving you another reason to be suspicious of your Alexa. Anyway, back to SEO. There are a few UX signals search engines are looking for. Click-through rate, which is CTR, bounce rate, and overall dwell time. Click-through rate is a percentage of people who click on a search engine result. That helps search engines know the relevance and attractiveness of a result compared to other similar people ranking for it. Bounce rate is a percentage of people that land on your page and then immediately leave without even interacting with it. A high bounce rate is usually a big problem because it suggests to the algorithm that your content wasn't relevant to their search. And dwell time is how long someone stays before returning 
turn into the search engine results. Now you should be aiming for a dwell time of two to four minutes. Less than two minutes is usually considered a bad dwell time and longer than four minutes suggests that the user is having trouble finding what they're looking for. To find your dwell time, check your analytics and look for a stat called average session duration. It's important to have an understanding of your UX signals if you want to boost your search engine rankings. Step number five is link building. Now this is the big daddy cane of SEO. I don't really know what that means, but there are over 200 ranking factors for Google and links are still one of the top three. Links from other websites to your pages tell search engines that your site is a good one. Now, building links is one of the best ways to build your authority and trust with the algorithm so you can rank higher in search engines and pretty much rank for everything. But there's a big downside. The process can be pretty slow. This is why I run a link building agency that exclusively helps businesses like yours build a ton of links with which boosts their search engine traffic and overall revenue. If you're interested in working with us directly, just click the link in the description to book in a free call with our team. But if you want to take another step in your journey to becoming a black belt in SEO, check out this video to learn why 91% of websites get zero search engine traffic from Google. As always, I'm Julian Goldie and I'll see you in the next video.